Okay, so if you're trying to solve for x in this equation right here, you'll find that you can't. It's just not possible. There's no way to get this x out of the logarithm. And also here, you can try it out, give it a shot, see what happens. Uh, no matter what you seem to do, you'll always be stuck with either a variable as an exponent or in the logarithm. So in that case, you need to graph it. So we have log base 10 of x equals 2x squared minus 5. Let's give it a shot. So in Desmos, you can type in log base 10 of x equals 2x squared, what was that? Minus 5. What are you looking for? You're looking to see where they cross each other. And in our case, to make it easy, let's graph it like this, and I'll show you that graph again I just had. Um, graph these two as functions and see what's going on. They do cross each other, right? Where? Well, here it looks like they cross at 0, 5, except that's actually not true. That is, um, that's the y-intercept of our parabola. But if you zoom in, be careful. Remember, logarithms, and this, and especially in this form, they can never reach zero exactly. Can we tell? Hmm. Let me convince you, because that does not look very convincing. It looks like the logarithm is hitting the axis right there. But if we stretch this out, it's like I'm peeling it off the axis, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? Peel it, peel it, and there you can see. Right, so the blue function, our parabola, crosses the y-axis, but in fact, the logarithm doesn't. So be careful with that. Click our home button. Here, though, we've got an intersection, and that's our answer. X is 1.614. Now, if you graph both directly, right, what do we have here? Well, it looks like, for a second there, it looks like it was graphing two things at once, but... I, I'm, I'm suspecting that this is a line at 1.614, a vertical line where x equals 1.614. I can't click on it, so I'm not sure how to deal with that in Desmos. Maybe I could say um, y equals 0 here and find where they meet. Boom. Mm, no, I guess so. Desmos can show it as an equation, but it can't graph it. I, it can show it, but I can't seem to click this graph right here. So, what you want to do is graph each side of the equation that way. All right, hope that helped.